Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics. And we're here to review this experiment that we're starting today. And as you can see, we've got three Diefenbachia plants and they're growing very, very healthily right now. If I put my hand next to them, it'll give you some scale as to how big these plants are. So you can see that they've got the typical patterning of the Diefenbachia. And they've been in my home for quite some time now, so the leaves on this particular variety of Diefenbachia are somewhat retarded from the radio frequency exposures in my home that come from transmitting utility meters in the area and also cell phone towers that are in the area. And this is what the leaf size was on this particular variety of Diefenbachia before it came into my home. So you can see that the leaves are now much smaller. And that's in line with how my controls grow. They grow at these retarded, smaller leaf growth. And that's from radio frequency exposures. So we're going to have to take that into account with this experiment. But the whole purpose of this experiment is to grow these plants around a hot smoke detector. And this one's going to get an hour exposure to that hot smoke detector and this one is going to get a month exposure and this one is going to be our control and have no exposure and the reason why we're doing this is because I identified a hot emission coming out of a standard household smoke detector that I had at my home and that smoke detector was purchased in 2010. It's a made in China smoke detector. And if you put a Geiger counter near it, which I did, I took it down to the university and got the university to check it out. There were thousands of counts per minute coming out of the smoke detector. And every plant I put near to that smoke detector has either died or shown extensive deformities. So we're going to put two of these plants near to the smoke detector and then we're going to watch them and it generally takes between six months and a year for the deformities to show up from the radiation exposures. And when those deformities do show up, I will do another video. I hope you enjoyed the video and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.